Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby Catano from Catano Glam and this is Catano Glam English. Today we are going to be doing three, yes, you heard it correctly, three eye looks using one palette, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette for this tutorial. And I just wanted to show you guys like the three main easy must know makeup looks for your eyes that'll just transform your makeup looks to a whole new level. They're super easy, they're beginner friendly, and I'm gonna go really into depth with these three looks. So if you are interested, keep on watching, but first subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell that's right next to the subscription button so that you never miss a video. Y si quieren ver este mismo video o otros videos similares en español, suscríbanse a mi otro canal, Tatano Glam. Okay guys, let's get into the video. So as you can see, I basically did all of my makeup except for my eye makeup and that just goes to show you guys that you can do whatever it is to your face, to your lips, to your eyebrows, whatever you want. As long as you have one of these three eye looks, you're going to look bomb and amazing. So if you do want to know how I did my face, leave me a comment down below and go ahead and follow me on my Instagrams because I am most likely going to post the products that I used to create this look in one of my Instagram posts. So I'm sure that a lot of you guys already know what the Jaclyn Hill palette looks like. It's been out for like almost two years already and I actually haven't used it too much on my channel. I think I only had like one other video in my other channel with it. But this is basically what it looks like for those of you who don't know or who just need a little refresher. And this did come with it, but it didn't come on here. What I actually did was um, it was that little card that came and covered all the shadows. So what I did was take it out. I cut it and then I glued it onto my palette so that I could see the names right here. And that is really cool because Morphe usually doesn't have the name of their eyeshadows in their palettes. What I love is the variety of color in this palette is amazing. I think that it is perfect for the girl who loves neutrals, aka me. You guys know I love a nude look, but that is not afraid or wants to experiment with a little bit of color. I mean, we got some reds over here, got the orangey brown the darker blacks and then we got some really beautiful like turquoise green purple uh, royal blue shades right over here and a few sparkly pinks right on the top corner I don't want to make this a review I do really want to focus on the eye makeup so if you guys want a more in-depth video I'm sure that there are hundreds of hundreds of in-depth review videos of the original Jaclyn Hill palettes so we're not going to focus on that today so the first look that i have for you guys is the subtle cut crease and this look is super easy i know that when we hear cut crease we automatically are like <gasps> yikes cut crease i'm not a pro what the hell is that what to crease how do i cut it i don't know but today i am going to show you how to make a subtle cut crease your new best friend so like i mentioned i already did my face makeup so my beauty blender still has fresh foundation and concealer on it and my eyelids um, we're already prepped with foundation and concealer, so just for the purpose of saving time, I'm just going to smooth out whatever foundation concealer I had on there. And um, it's still pretty tacky because I didn't set it, so that is exactly how I want it. You can go ahead and definitely add some concealer or some eyeshadow primer before you start with your shadow because that's what's really going to hold your eyeshadow in place. It's going to make it so much easier to blend your eyeshadow and the color of the eyeshadow is gonna look way more similar to what it looks like on the palette if you put it onto a nice, fresh, and clean canvas with the concealer or the eyeshadow primer already on your eyelid. So we're gonna start off with a fluffy brush just like this. This one, I believe, is from BH Cosmetics. And we're just gonna go ahead and take a neutral matte shade. Depending on your skin tone is basically the shade that's gonna look best for you. I'm very fair skin but I always like to look a little bit more tan so I'm not going to use one that's too too light but I am going to use this color right here and that shade is actually called Silk Cream. So I'm just going to apply this starting from the outer corner of my crease and just slowly blending it towards the inner portion of my crease. For those of you who don't know what a crease is, where have I been? No, I'm kidding. Um, basically, your crease is where your eye naturally folds. Now, if you have naturally hooded eyes and you can't really tell where your crease is, then what I like to suggest is to take your finger very carefully and basically feel where your eyeball ends. So my eyeball ends right here, and that is exactly where my crease is. You just want to go where your eyeball is. 
Sometimes if your eyes are a little bit hooded or if you have looser skin on your actual eyelids, your crease will look like it's a little lower than what it is. What you're going to want to do is create a fake crease and kind of go a little over it exactly where your eyeball is. If it doesn't make sense, feel free to ask me a question in the comments. I want to make sure that you guys are getting the most out of my videos. So that's why I'm going really in depth with this one. Uh, I have so many friends that tell me, Gabby, I watch your videos, but sometimes it's still hard for me to like understand what you're talking about. I can't blend like that, like blah, blah, blah. So that's why I came up with the idea to do, okay, these are the three essential eye looks that we're gonna get into that if you can master these eye looks you're just gonna look bomb every single time you do your makeup so immediately you can already tell the difference between this eye and this eye this eye already looks like it has some color and some definition into it so I'm still using that same eyeshadow and just blending it onto my crease and when you do this it's really important to use a fluffy brush like the one that I'm using because you don't want the color to look really, really harsh right now. One of my tricks to make sure that I am getting the shadow onto my crease and not onto my eyelid or to any other part of my eye is to bring whatever mirror I have in front of me and put it a little lower, like not put it directly in front, but a little lower like this so that I can have kind of that angle and I can look down, raise my eyebrow, open up my eyelid a little, and really see where that crease is. So now I'm going to move on to a fluffy brush like this, but if you could tell, it is a little bit more narrow than the original fluffy brush that we used. I'm going to go in to a neutral shade that is still considered neutral, earthy tone, but it's definitely darker than the shade we originally used. And what this is going to do is basically deepen up the crease, add a little bit more color, and make your look just look a little bit more professional. I'm just going to go in with it still directly onto my crease, but I'm going to try to focus it more on my crease and not necessarily blend it out like I did with the other color. I like to start from the outside always and then bring it in. Notice that I'm doing windshield wiper motions and I'm doing it slowly from the outermost point all the way in through the middle and to the innermost point. And I can definitely see the shade right here that I put. That right there is gonna give you a little bit more of a guidance of like whether or not you put it in the right spot. I'm taking the original brush that I used and I am just going to lightly brush the very edges and make sure that they are nice and smoothed out and blended. Before we cut the crease, okay, we gonna add a little bit of darkness into this eye and we're actually gonna make it like a semi-cut crease. So for this, you can use a lot of different brushes. You can either use a pencil brush, you can use a flat brush, or you can use a really tiny blending brush. And I'm choosing to use a really tiny blending brush because I feel like it just makes it so much nicer and more of a seamless application with it. I'm not gonna go too, too dark. I don't wanna use black or anything like that, but I definitely wanna use like a dark brown. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and take this shade right here which is called Central Park and right now I'm gonna focus this on the outermost portion of my eye and if you notice even though it's a blending brush I am just packing it on like this just to the outermost portion of my eyelid I am NOT I repeat I am NOT taking it all the way to the crease and what this is gonna do is kind of bring some life back into your eye open up your eye a little bit and give it a little bit of a cat eye effect up until like one fourth in. Take that brush that had that in between caramel shade without adding anything and I'm just going to lightly, people lightly, have a light hand with it, blend the outer corners, okay? Boom, that's all I did. Nothing more, nothing less. And now we're going to focus on the inner portion of my eyelid that if you could see on camera, it is very light right now, meaning that I did a good job. I didn't get too much on my eyelid and I don't even really need to clean it up right now. But just for the purpose of the video, I know that some of you guys at home might have to clean it up with some concealer and this is the scary part for some of you. So what I'm going to do is take a flat concealer brush. If you guys don't have a flat concealer brush, you could also very carefully use 
this finger to apply a little bit of concealer, but I definitely recommend investing in a flat concealer brush. We're not gonna be going too crazy with the crease. That's why it is a subtle cut crease. I'm just taking some Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream in the shade Banana. And I'm gonna go ahead and just very lightly just pat it on, okay? This part is a little scary, so if you guys want to first make sure you're not going too high up, pat it directly onto your eyelid, not into your crease, and then look like that and try to look maybe up a little. Wherever it transfers to, that concealer is the absolute highest point to where you can get the concealer to go. You don't wanna go any higher than that. That's where you wanna put the concealer. And this is going to help you right now if you have those hooded eyes, if you have you know loose skin up there, to really give a chance to open up your eyes a little bit more and to make it seem like your crease is a little higher than what it is. And now take that brush that had a little bit of the darker shade, kind of blend in towards the concealer because I don't want there to be any harsh lines when that concealer dries. So now that we got that blended, all I'm gonna do is take a flat brush like this and go into literally whatever shade I want. This is when you guys can get creative. This is when you can either play it safe and go with a light neutral shade that kind of matches your concealer shade, whatever that means for your skin tone, or you can go and add a pop of color if you wanna make your eyes a little shimmer, a little glittery. This is the exact part where you want to add that. I am going to give it a little shimmer just because this is a look that you guys can transform from daytime to nighttime. I'm gonna add a little bit of like a rosy pinky tone, which is actually called Sissy. And make sure to dust off the excess, especially for shimmer shades, guys. And I am going to use the press and glide method. So you basically press it and you swipe it. You want to make sure that you are not going above that concealer line. Once you get to about right here, which is kind of the middle, you don't want to go with the shade all the way to the end. We're going to go back in with the brush that had a little bit of the darker shade and we're just going to blend again. You are done with the hardest part of the eyelid. This is your semi-subtle cut crease and you didn't have to do anything crazy and all I'm going to do is add a little bit of shadow on the bottom portion. So I'm actually going to take that same brush that I had with the residue of the darker shade and add it to my lower lash line. Adding shadow to your lower lash line no matter what size eye you have is always a great way to make your eyes look even more bomb. For example, if you could see right now the difference between both eyes is literally crazy and all I did was add a little bit of shadow right under here and this eye already looks like bam, okay? And this eye is a little sad. I gotta go do it off camera really quick. So this is the final look and all I did was add these lashes. They are from Style Lashes by Wendy and they're in the style Saucy. I love these lashes. It's the first time I used them actually. They're really cute, super fluffy. I'm pretty sure that she makes them by hand. They are from California and um, she does have an Epsi website. So they're super affordable, by the way. You guys should definitely check them out. But besides that, I love this look. I think it's super easy, and um, I am ready to basically do whatever the hell I want in this look. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling cute. Honestly, make this look your own. If you try this out, and if you do a look that is similar, please tag me on my social media handles, which I will leave right here, and they're also linked down below. But all right, guys, let's move on to look number two. Okay, guys, so we are on to look number two. I basically have the exact same eye look that I had on three seconds ago. The only difference is that I took off the rose gold and I went ahead and just put a sort of white ivory shimmer shade instead because this eye look is for those of you who want to add a pop of color to your makeup but you're too scared to do it all over your eyelid you have no idea how to blend it so what we're gonna do is pop on that color on the lower lash line and the waterline eyeliner it's a super easy way to transform any eye look to make it even more glam even more, you know, extra. If you guys have a super simple go-to eyelid that you already know how to do, feel free to do that on your eyelids. And if you ever wanna try something a little different to change it up, 
adding that pop of color in the lower lash line is gonna definitely do that for you and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so I'm hopping into my bag of eyeliners. I am probably gonna go for one of the purple, blue, turquoise shades just because that's the pop of color that I see here other than like a red and an orange and I love purple, turquoise, greens. I think that they look beautiful. So I'm just gonna use this eye pencil from the brand L'Oreal and it is the Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil in the shade Cobalt Blue. Making sure that I'm applying it directly on that waterline. I'm applying it from the very, very outer edge all the way to the very inner corner of my waterline. And I'm also trying to get like right into the root of the lashes because I wanna make sure that this is super, super blue. I don't wanna have any spaces at all. And you definitely don't need to use an eyeliner in your waterline at all if you don't like that. If you think that your eyes look smaller with that, then go ahead and just opt for the shadow that I'm gonna show you in a second. Once we have achieved that eyeliner look, I am just gonna hop into this blue indigo shade called twerk which is so funny and i'm going to take a really really small detailed brush you guys could do this with a pencil brush but just because of the fact that it is a blue i want to make sure i'm dusting off any excess and um i don't want it to get super messy so i'm gonna go as close as possible to the lash line with this shadow and i am really really getting in between those lashes and i am adding it literally right into like that tear duct area all the way to the outer corner i don't know if you could see the blue on camera but you could definitely see it in person and it is such a beautiful blue indigo rich shade i am going to go ahead and smoke it out just a little bit so if you guys get a tiny flat brush like this or a tiny detailed brush this one is the firm shader e57 from sigma you can go ahead and add just a tad bit of that color and then ever so lightly just blend back and forth and this is gonna really smoke it out not make it so perfect and just further emphasize that blue if you guys wanted to take this just a step further you can totally put a blue or a purple like whatever color mascara even a brown mascara that you have on the lower lash line and it's just gonna give that pop of color an extra push I think it makes the look look so much more glam. You could do this literally to any look if you have a smoky eye, if you just have your winged eyeliner, some lashes, and this indigo blue color on the lower lash line, you are gonna look amazing. All right guys, well this is what look number two looks like. Both eyes are beautiful, super easy, super quick, probably the easiest and fastest way to get a bomb eye makeup look. Another trick that I didn't mention that I love doing, instead of popping a bright color under my lash line, what I will do is apply a glitter and I love using these Stila liquid metals. Who's a fan of this look? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys guys have ever tried this before and if you liked it if you didn't like it or if you are planning to try it in the future also tag me in all your recreations on instagram i'd love to see what you guys come up with after watching this video okay let's move on to the final look it is the funnest look of all but it also seems like the hardest look to a lot of people and i promise you it's not so let's get into it. We are here, we are at the home stretch, the third and final look guys, you have made it this far so far, you cannot stop watching yet. So the final look is gonna be a smoky eye and I feel like this is the perfect look to teach you guys because a smoky eye doesn't necessarily mean a black eye, it means the type of eyeshadow that you're doing looks really well blended, really smoked out and you can really do any type of color that you want and create it into a smoky eye. You can use a brown, you can use a gray, you can use a black definitely if you want, or you can use any other type of color. So I'm gonna use a bright red, but literally every single step that I am doing, you can repeat with any other matte shade out there. It doesn't matter what color. I did put a little bit of concealer so that we are ready to go and start with this new look. What I'm gonna do is take a clean flat brush and I'm gonna take this burgundy red shade. It looks a little brown on camera, I think, but in person it is a burgundy red and it is actually in the shade Jax. Make sure to get a really nice coat onto my brush and definitely dust off the excess. So. The way you start a smoky eye is like 
little by little it's all about blending it's all about technique guys and this could be a little hard at first but i swear once you get it it's gonna save you out of all your problems it doesn't matter what eye shape you have it doesn't matter if you have you know hanging skin a hooded eye if you have a small eyelid any type of eye shape looks amazing in a smoky eye and you can ask any makeup artist that and if they're a true artist they're gonna know that it's true. As an, an artist myself, whenever I do a smoky eye, it doesn't matter what eye shape they have, it always comes out looking good. There is a misconception with smoky eyes that people think it's like that look that I taught you before, the subtle cut crease, that it's like darker on the ends and lighter on the inner corner. Okay, no, that's not a smoky eye. Um, that, that I don't even know what name that is. Like, that could be what I call the subtle semi-cut crease, but a smoky eye is literally what we're doing here. So let's just get into it. So I grab the brush this way, like literally like this, okay? And I begin to stamp in the very center as close as I possibly can be to my eyelashes. So I start stamping the color down like this. I want the darkest portion of the smoky eye to be in the center bottom part of my eyelid that's why i'm starting off right here and there are different techniques of doing a smoky eye i think that this is the easiest one especially when you're only going to be using one eyeshadow color once i get to about right there notice that i'm not higher than my crease yet i'm only in my actual eyelid i'm gonna start to slowly pack on the inner and outer corner of my eye whatever is left on the brush but i don't want it to be really really dark so once i get to like about right here i'm gonna go in and grab a clean blending brush just like this this one is just a little stain but i promise you like it doesn't have any sort of eyeshadow and without adding anything i'm gonna start to blend that eyeshadow into my crease and a little higher you can see that it starts getting that smoked out effect. So now that I've blended it out pretty real, I do want to go in and add a little more just to this brush because I never initially added any color to it. So now I can decide, okay, does any part look patchy? Do I need, a, you know, do I want to darken it up anywhere? And I do want to add a little bit more of this color into the crease. Once you get the hang of this, you can blend any eyeshadow look. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and get that fluffy brush and just round out under here, kind of like what we did in the first look, where we are adding a little bit of that smoky effect to the lower lash line just to tie everything together. If you guys are going to do your eyes after you do your face makeup like I did today, make sure to have your powder brush handy because you will probably get fallout with this technique until you get it just about right. I do notice that it's a little patchy, which is okay. You know, that happens with a lot of mattes. It's hard to get a really good creamy and blendable matte. So if that happens, just grab a little bit more with the flat brush and then try to cover up those patchy areas as best as you can. But if you can't get it to look perfect, all you're going to have to do is just pop on some lashes and no one will ever notice that you had patchy eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and pick this brush that's a little bit smaller and I'm going to add some of that eyeshadow to the lower lash line because I feel like I'm missing a little bit. You can honestly add whatever color shadow to your lower lash line, but I think that it's gonna look so pretty. Once you have your lashes on, your mascara, the other eye done, and you see that all you needed was one matte eyeshadow to create this look, you were gonna fall in love with smoky eyes. It doesn't matter what color you use, this technique is gonna make you look gorgeous, literally for any event that you have. And I'll be right back. All right guys, well this is look number three. The final, final look, um, and all I did was just add those lashes again that I had on in the other two looks, and I did go ahead and add a little bit of highlight on the inner corners. I don't know if you guys could tell, but adding highlight in the inner corner of your eye is always going to make your eyeshadow look even more amazing, no matter what kind of look you're going for. So that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. If you guys recreate any of my looks, please also comment down below and tag me in your Instagram or Twitter posts, wherever it is, Facebook, YouTube, whatever it is that you do. Let me know that you got some inspo and ideas from this video. If I helped you, give this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I post. I usually post between one and two times a week, usually on Sundays and or Wednesdays. I am so happy with the result of all three makeup looks. They are all amazing and they're all gonna get you guys out of a bind, especially when you need to be out of the house quick and you gotta look glam. But I think that look number two is definitely 
probably the most unique one because it's going to give you that extra pop of color and everyone is going to ask you, oh my god, who did your makeup or what eyeshadow are you wearing? I want to know what your favorite look is, so leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite look was and I will see you guys in my next video.